Hey, what's going on, everyone? Hope you guys are doing well. Happy Wednesday. Hope you've been having a great week of betting so far. Hopefully Tuesday was a nice, successful night for you guys. We have two NBA games on the slate. You know, we were out without NBA for about a week for the All-Star game. And yeah, let me know what you guys thought about the All-Star game in the comments. Did you guys like it? What didn't you like? You know, All-Star game was fine. Um, I didn't like the dunk contest. I thought that was weak. You know, the skills challenge is always kind of boring. Three-point challenge was pretty fun, but... You know, not too much excitement, really, in my opinion, but definitely glad NBA is back. Just a two-game slate Wednesday, but Thursday's when all the action is. It's going to be a heavy slate. So, yeah, um, before we get into it, you know what to do. Go ahead and like and subscribe down below. It's been awesome, and um love doing this for you guys. And, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. We have two NBA matchups. We have the Washington Wizards versus the Memphis Grizzlies. Washington Wizards 14 and 20, 18 and 16 against the spread. Memphis Grizzlies 16 and 16, 17, 14 and 1 against the spread. Memphis opening up as two and a half point favorites with the over under at 238. Last 10 games head to head. Washington Memphis both split down the middle at 5 and 5. Memphis 7 and 3 against the spread in those head to head meetings. Last 10 games overall for Washington, they are 7-3 in their last 10. Memphis, 5-5 in their last 10. Washington, 9-2 against the spread in their last 11. So they've been playing really good and covering the spread in their last 11. 8-3 in their last 11 as well. So they've been playing really good as of late. They kind of turned it around towards the, the end of the first half of the season. You know, just one and six against the spread in their last seven against Memphis, and one and four in their last five against Memphis. So they haven't been able to beat Memphis. Um, Memphis four and one against the spread in their last five. You know, Memphis five and zero oh at home against Washington. I really love that number. Six of their last their last six matchups for Memphis has gone under. So definitely looking kind of like an under kind of matchup for me. Um. Looking at the injury report, don't see anything really noticeable for Wednesday. I feel like with a week off or so, people should be back to good health for right now. So, yeah, um, you know, Memphis two and a half point favorites in this one against Washington. You know, I I lean Washington in this one. I just think coming off the of all-star break, you know, Russell Westbrook and Beal, you know, kind of get their act together and start – Start playing a little better. These teams did just they did just play before the break. Washington lost one eleven to one twenty five. But you know, Memphis isn't that much of a you know, that much of a better team really. So I like Washington plus two and a half here. And um but you know, you can go either way in this one. Two thirty eight, you know, I like the under in this matchup. So those are gonna be my picks for that. You could go either way, it's a toss up. Um next matchup and the last matchup, we had the San Antonio Spurs. Versus the Dallas Mavericks, San Antonio 18 and 14, 18 and 14 against the spread. Dallas Mavericks 18 and 16, 15 and 19 against the spread. Dallas opening up as four and a half point favorites with the over under at 220 and a half. Last 10 head to head meetings in Spurs 6 and 4. You know, the Mavs are 6 and 4 against the spread in those head to head meetings winning the uh, winning the against the spread battle san antonio last 10 games overall they are six and four in their last 10 dallas eight and two in their last 10 you know kind of turned it around the last the last 10 matchups san antonio just five and 12 against the spread in their last 17 against the mavs one and four in their last five against the mavs you know dallas six and 13 against the spread in their last 19 having trouble covering the spread a lot this season you know, Dallas 5-1 and one in their last six. Playing really well lately. You know, Luka coming off all-star, you know, all-star starter. A lot of trade rumors going around with all kind of teams. With the trade deadline, lo- trade deadline looming pretty close. Who knows, you know, what teams are going to add and blah, blah, blah. You know, stuff like that. Looking at the injury report, San Antonio does have a couple guys questionable. Aldridge, Rudy Gay, Derek White. 
Um, yeah, everyone looks good for Dallas to play. So, you know, me being a Dallas fan, you know, I like that. I like the Mavs minus four and a half here. Start. We've been starting to play well the last ten games. Um, you know, I like the four and a half. I think that's a pretty good line. Look for Dallas to cover in this one, and the over two twenty and a half. You know, I love the over in this matchup. Dallas is a high scoring team. Look for it to be a pretty pretty competitive game in the hundreds by both squads. So that's going to be my picks for this video. There's only two picks, so it's going to be a short video in this one. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Glad NBA's back. Thursday's got a huge slate, you know, a lot of basketball this weekend as well. Make sure you check out my hockey videos, college basketball videos, and my free VIP pick parlay and teaser videos that I put out every night. And um, yeah, go ahead and support the channel and that'd be super awesome. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. See you guys on Thursday. Good luck with your guys' betting. Have a good one.